Welcome to sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series on conversion. No? And uh, in this video, tutuloy natin yung discussion natin on converting uh, fractions to decimals. No? From the previous video, tinuruan ko kayo ng isang strategy no? by uh, uh, multiplication of uh, the numerator and the denominator by the same number such that uh, yung product ng ating uh, denominator tsaka yung certain number na yun magiging powers of 10, no? So, for example, yung 450 dito, pwede natin siyang uh, multiply sa 2, di ba? Times 2, and then times 2, kasi magiging powers of 10 siya. Magiging power of 10 yung kanyang denominator. So, magiging 10, magiging 8, no? So, pag 8 over 10, di ba, is, you just uh, uh, move the decimal, di ba? Bali, 8.0 yan, di ba? Magiging 0.8. Yun yung magiging sagot natin. No? Well, another way to do this is 4 over 5. 10 ka na. 10 na yung uh, uh, denominator mo. Tapos, you divide. No? Divide. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then, this becomes times 4. This becomes 8. So, kung maalala nyo, ito rin yung ginagawa natin pag uh, nagko-convert tayo ng fraction to an equivalent fraction, di ba? Halimbawa, pag nag-add tayo ng fraction, actually, ginagawa natin siya equivalent fraction para maging similar fraction siya, no? So, that's one, that's another strategy, no? Mas malibaw dun sa tinuro ko sa from, from the previous video. Siguro magsingit tayo ng isang uh, ng isang ano dito, ng isang Some number pa. Number two, we have may nga yung aso, no? So, number two, we have um, 7 over 20, for example. So, pag may 7 over 20 tayo dito, paano natin gagawin yung anong pinakapalapit na powers of 10 sa 20? Uh, pwede natin siyang gawing 100, di ba? Kasi pag 10, magdi-divide tayo ng 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng decimal dito pag nag-divide tayo ng 2. So, we will make this 100. 7 over 20 is equals to something over 100. So, 100 divided by uh, 20, that's... Ilan? 5, di ba? Times 7, 35. So, 35 over 100. Yung 35 is the same as 35.0. Pag nag-divide ka ng 100, move mo lang yung decimal ng two places to the left. You have 0 0.35, no? Or another way of doing it is 7 over 20. Multiply it by 5. Multiply by 5. And we get 35 over 100. That's another strategy. Katulad nung ginawa natin dito kanina. Okay? Now, uh, of course, may mga pagkakataon, no? kagaya nung sa previous video na talagang hindi natin kayang uh, hindi natin siya kayang i-multiply or i-divide para siya maging power of 10. So, gagawin natin is just to manually divide. No? 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 8. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-divide ng 3 sa 8. Magiging 0 yan. And we put a decimal point, no? So, dagdag tayo ng 0, 30 divided by 8 is 3. That's 24. We subtract and then we get 6. Magiging 60, dagdag tayo ng 0. So, 60 divided by 8, 7. And 7 times 8 is 56. And then we get 40. So, 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, 0.37. Five. So, yan, yung strategy na ginamit dito sa pangunang number tsaka yung pangalawa. Okay, first and second uh, examples natin. Hindi, hindi pwede yun dito, no? Medyo mahirap siya. So, we divide manually. No? Just divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay? Okay, so another uh, example is 1 over 9. So, hindi rin ito pwede. So, magdi-divide talaga tayo manually. 1 over 9, so magdadag tayo ng decimal point kasi hindi naman pwede. 1 divided by 9 cannot be. 
we have 0. So magdagdag tayo ng 0, we have 10 divided by 9 is 1. Then 1 times 9 is 9. Okay. So bring down 1, or uh, we subtract. The difference is 1. We add 0. 10 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. Kung napapansin nyo, 1 pa rin to, di ba? So ito yung katulad sa previous example natin na uh, ito yung tinatawag natin na uh, repeating decimal. No? So non-terminating yan, yan magtatapos. Kaya pag nilagay natin yan dito, 0 0.111, dot, 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 no? Meaning, forever na yung 111 na yan. Or minsan, pwede rin natin ilagay na 0 0.1. Tapos may bar dito sa taas. Ibig sabihin, nagre-repeat yung 1. Pwede rin yung ganitong notation. No? Okay? So, pag may uh, whole number, 2 and 1 fourth, for example, pwede muna natin ignore yung yung 2. Okay, lagay na natin. Yan yung magiging whole number niya. And then, yung 1 fourth. Uh, paano yan? 1 fourth. Pwede natin siyang, iwalay na muna natin kasi ito magiging whole number yan. Pwede tayong, yung unang strategy kanina, times 25, times 25. Magiging 100. This is a power of 10. And then this is 25. So magiging 0. 0.25. So 2 plus 0. 0.25 magiging 2.25. So, ito yung kanyang equivalent na decimal, no? One, uh, one fourth is equal to 2.25. Dapat familiar kayo dun sa mga, ano, no? Yung mga conversion, kung mga four fifth, very basic yan, dapat alam niya. And one fourth, dapat 0. 0.25. Yung one fifth, 0. 0.20. Yung four fifth, 0. 0.8. So, yung mga yan, dapat, uh, yung mga common fractions na dapat medyo memorize nyo siya para mas madali kayo mong compute. Okay, so maraming salamat. Gusto ko invite sa sipnayan.com yung ating uh, website. Nadyan nakalista yung ating mga videos na sunod-sunod. No? Uh, kung gusto nyo panoorin na sunod-sunod para mas lalo nyo maintindihan, pwede nyo i-visit yan. And of course, you can also visit our uh, YouTube channel sa YouTube. Uh, type nyo lang yung sipnayan, tapos hanapin nyo. And then you click the subscribe button. No? Kung nasa sipnayan na kayo ngayon at uh, nasa YouTube channel kayo nanonood, pwede nyo nga uh, i-click yung uh, subscribe para... Uh, every time na may bago tayong video ay uh, matatanggap nyo sa email nyo. Okay? Mag-explore kayo dyan. Ang dami na nating videos as of this uh, moment. I think we have more than I think pag si 600 na almost yung ating uh, videos. No? So maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.